An unprecedented interruption of service, Mayor Tony Yarber says Jackson's water issues are nothing new. He says he tried to do something about it when he first got into office. We understood that we had a potential water crisis. We declared a state of emergency uh, two years ago. Uh, that state of emergency was not received well. Um, we didn't get support from the council. We didn't get support from the county. We didn't get support from the state. That state of emergency was April 2015. Some council members called his plan too vague. Yarber called the needed repairs to the city's water infrastructure urgent. Since then, the city has seen both water treatment plants shut down. Jackson has dealt with traces of lead in some people's water. There have been countless boil water alerts. Now this, the four foot water main break on Forest Avenue that's leading to a water outage. Having to do this repair is going to stave off a dollar amount that this city cannot afford. Friday from three until Sunday at three versus having a catastrophic event that could see the city without water indefinitely. When plans for this water outage were being announced Monday, Yarber was noticeably absent. Many wanted to know where he was during such a crucial time. The mayor was in Washington, D.C. There was a data conference uh, that, that I attended that allowed me to be able to get in a room specifically around infrastructure, infrastructure repair. But he wasn't able to secure any money. Two weeks ago, he tried to get a $90 million loan agreement to help fix infrastructure and water problems. He wanted to leverage a portion of the 1% sales tax. Last week, that was halted by the commission that's put in place to oversee those dollars. Regardless, the huge water main break on Forest Avenue has to be fixed, and he's asking for everyone to be patient. I understand the frustration. I understand people's fussing and stuff. But, you know, that fussing didn't happen 40 30, 20, 10 years ago. We need your patience now as we attend to these things. At City Hall, Aaron Pickens, 16 WAPT News.